Hey, we're going to start packing up for a trip this month, I hope. And we can't keep the Airstream at home more than 24 hours because that's the rules of our neighborhood, unfortunately. But um, anyway, I, that is not the bedding I'm keeping on. That is what we got originally. This is our 2011 Airstream. I call it the Air Dream. But on the door, it's missing a letter, and it's really called the Air Tream, but it doesn't have a name yet. Anyway, this, um, I took the table down. I like the big seating area, and I just, our garage is a mess, so ignore it. But I wanted to see if our travel Berkey would fit in here, and if you turn it the way I have it, it won't need a stand and it fits perfect. I still want to get the life straw. So if we're out hiking somewhere and we don't have um, water with us, we can drink out of any stream. Anyway, I just wanted to, I always say anyway, sorry guys, but get used to it. There is a lot of storage. That's usually where I keep my coffee stuff. My my um well here's some cups and the other cabinet i usually keep the dishes and my can't think of what it is right now my coffee pot but it's not the electric one oh my my brain sorry this is why i need to travel now there's our microwave. And I am thinking of getting a toaster oven. Even though I um, don't use one at home, this is more storage. And I have a toaster, so that might be all I need. It's like you keep thinking you need more, and then when you're camping, you think, why did I bring all this? But there's more storage up here. I'll show you. Oh. Just junk. My remotes. Some of my throw pillows and extra blanket. And then actually down here, I'm gonna put storage tubs because I and a cooler, because I can. And under there is another storage unit, which we can put stuff we normally don't use like extra gear for when it's cold. And then there's more storage. Let me show you. Some of you have asked what we, what it's like in the Airstream. Of course, I just put one of the Aldi boxes for my iron. And under the refrigerator, there is my sweeper and dust broom. And then, it still has all of this space. Wait, let me push. It has all of this closet space, which is awesome. And then, well, the shower has junk in it right now, but there's the shower with bedding, extra bedding. Here is the cute little bathroom. Wait. And there's a mirror. I'm not going to show me. But behind the mirror, well, I guess I did. Behind this mirror is more storage. And there's a towel bar. I got to bring all our camping stuff in. Here's our bed in. I bought a really nice fluffy comforter and pillows in a yellow pinstripe with a navy pillow because I wanted it to look nautical. And we do want to get the Oceaneer blinds just because at night I still don't trust that people can't see us in here and, you know, when you're dressing or whatever. Oh, look it. There's a cardinal that came. 
wait. I know this isn't part of the Airstream thing, but I love when cardinals visit. I'm trying to find it now. It's hiding. Oh, well, it was there. Oh, it's hiding behind the light. There's the female down there, but there's a male behind the light. They're kind of hanging out together today. There it goes. Well, every time I see a cardinal, I think of my mom. So, just because she liked red and <coughs> I like birds. And I feel God maybe can give us a hint of maybe that they're happy. Anyway, there's more um, bedding. Oh, just pillows up there. And then under here is more storage. It's where Sean puts his clothes. This is his side. And I bought those from Target because they'll fit perfect up here. And then the nightstands won't look messy because hopefully Sean will put all of his junk in his little tub. So it will keep things neat because I am the neat one at times. I used to be neater. Sean likes to just put things where they are, wherever he puts them, which is fine. That's him. But sometimes it drives me crazy, and I drive him crazy at times, I'm sure. There's more storage. That's where I keep my clothes. So that's it. TV. This is the controls for the furnace. And Augie usually sleeps right under that space. We put a little blanket for him, and he loves it. That's his spot. And in, if you want a table, these two cushions come up and the table flips up. So there you have it, our little space. And we love it. And we also love the fact that we got it for a lot less by, than buying new. And to me, it looks new, except that it has the air conditioning unit on the ceiling. The new ones don't. So, and the new ones have a lot of different perks, but if you want to pay over 100000 or about that, you can. And you can get all of those modern perks. But to me, this is much better than staying in a tent. And I am not going to complain. Oh, and the mattress. We did have an older Airstream mattress when we bought this of course, because now it's 10 years old. But the first two nights, we could not take how hard it was. So it was, I wish we would have filmed it. We went to Costco, and we actually um, dragged <laughs> the new mattress in here. And it just kind, it was perfect. Um, it's so comfortable. The Nova Foam. And then we didn't know what to do with the old one. So Sean cut it up and put it in the campground dumpster. So it was quite comical because I was like, oh my, you're really not going to do that, are you? And he did. So there you have it. Here's the outside. Oh, got it at Nature and the RV. And they were awesome to deal with. Traverse City, Michigan. I would recommend them highly. They even came out to the campground and repaired a leak in the toilet after we bought it used. So, five stars for them. Okay, bye.